Hello. Hello. I'm Jane. I'm John. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're going to do the big reveal. I know. Um, I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um, intrigued. Intrigued, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Matt. Are you feeling competitive? Me? Yeah. No. Oh, I think what? he's going to earn more than me, because men do. Are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. One, two, two three, reveal! <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Why? This is a massive gap. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I was expecting some disparity, but I was not expecting that's that to too, be that great. That's too much. But that's a massive $19,000 gap. A massive gap. It's not as bad as I expected. But Still bad. I said 25% difference, and that is more than I really, yes. really thought. You take it as well, I'd be pissed if this happened to me, to be honest with you. Oh, I am very, very positively surprised. Why are you doing it? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, why? <laughs> like we're trying to get more, more girls into this the tech sector, and yet you're paying us less than our male counterparts. Organisations like the BBC um, release the salaries of higher paid people. And I think it should be like that within any organisation, really. Knowing that women are usually the ones in the situation, it makes me feel a bit more empathetic. If it was less secretive, I think that would, that would make a massive difference. The more that we highlight these things, the more we can actually then look to change it. I'm cross, actually. I am cross.